everybody, I'm the first grad paleontologist, and this week we're going to talk about a few dinosaurs that we have not talked about. Afterwards, we're going to answer a few questions from a student's first grade class. The first dinosaur we're going to talk about today is Dinonychus. Dinonychus means terrible coral. It was 10 feet long and 5 feet tall and lived in the late Cretaceous time period and was 175 pounds. Dinonychus was a fast moving bipedal predator. Bipedal means it walked on two legs. It was a bird like dinosaur and was built to kill. It had three fingers and had four toes. And the second toe had a five inch long sickle shaped toe claw. The second dinosaur we're going to talk about today is Pinacosaurus. Pinacosaurus means plank lizard. It was 18 feet long and two feet tall at the hips. It lived in the late Cretaceous time period and was found in China and in Mongolia. Pinacosaurus was an ankylosaur, like Ankylosaurus and Yolpocephalus and Sachania. The common characteristics of an ankylosaur are their club like tails, well rumored backs, and they are all herbivores. Pinkosaurus was armored but not as well protected as many of the other armored dinosaurs. This may have been due to less fierce predators in the area where he lived. The third prehistoric reptile we're going to talk about today is Tyrannodon. Tyrannodon means wing but toothless. It's not a dinosaur as you can see. It's a flying reptile. Pterodon lived in the time of the dinosaurs. The wingspan of Pterodon was 25 to 33 feet long and was 6 feet tall at the hips while standing up. It weighed 55 pounds and lived in the late Cretaceous time period. Although Pterodon had no teeth, he or she was a carnivore. And Pterodon may have hunted like a modern day pelican, scooping up fish and swallowing them whole. Pterodon had a crest on his head and had a very short tail that you can barely see. Pterodons could flap their wings and fly with power. Pterodons could fly a long way using their large, lightweight wings. Pterodons' bones in the wings are hollow. Now it's time to answer a few questions from Ms. Stevens' first grade class. Ashley Strong would like to know what do dinosaurs do at night? Well, the scientists can't know for sure, but we do think that dinosaurs did sleep. We think carnivores may have slept a lot because meat-eating animals that live now usually take long naps after they have filled their bellies. Herbivore dinosaurs may have nibbled a little bit here and there as they kept a watchful out for hungry predators. Two-legged dinosaurs may have laid down to sleep, and four-legged animals that lived back then probably stood up to sleep. My second question is from Bailey Grayson. What is your favorite dinosaur and why? Well, my favorite dinosaur is Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus is my favorite dinosaur because it is extremely big and because of this cell it makes it look real cool and because it's a carnivore. Next question is from Madison Big. What was the name of the first dinosaur? Well, as scientists know right now, Eoraptor was one of the first dinosaurs and was about one foot tall at the hips. Malachi Falcon would like to know when was the first dinosaur born? 
Well, scientists don't know the exact date, but they do know that probably will have been uh, in the late Triassic period about 228 million years ago. Our last question today comes from Zebiel McCoyney. When did the dinosaurs die? Dinosaurs were extinct about 65 million years ago at the end of the Cretaceous time period. That was after living on Earth 165 million years. These are the prehistoric reptiles we have talked about today. Number one, Deinonychus. Number two, Pinnacosaurus. And number three, Pteranodon. I'll see you next time whenever we talk more about dinosaurs. And for all of you that have any questions whatsoever, you can email them to me at rallytalk1 at gmail.com.